Did you know that the continent receiving the most sunlight on Earth is solving global energy challenges? Picture this. While many still think of Africa as a place in need of aid, it's actually becoming the world's renewable energy powerhouse. But how did this transformation begin? And what makes Africa's approach to renewable energy so revolutionary? What if I told you that Africa's renewable energy solutions are not just changing lives locally, but are being exported to power communities worldwide? And more intriguingly, what if these innovations could hold the key to solving climate change globally? Let me take you on a journey across the continent that's rewriting the renewable energy playbook. From the sun-drenched Sahara to the wind-swept coasts of Kenya, Africa's energy revolution is happening right before our eyes. The transformation is so remarkable that international energy experts are now studying African solutions to implement them in developed nations. When most people think about technological innovation, Silicon Valley or Tokyo might come to mind. But here's something that might surprise you. Africa is leading the world in practical, scalable, renewable energy solutions. Take Morocco's Nor Power Plant, for instance. This massive solar facility, visible from space, produces enough electricity to power a million homes. And here's the fascinating part. Its innovative storage system allows it to generate electricity even after sunset. The plant uses molten salt technology to store solar energy, maintaining constant power output 24 hours a day. But what makes this technology so special? And why aren't we seeing it everywhere yet? The story becomes even more compelling when we look at what's happening in East Africa. Kenya has emerged as a geothermal energy giant, harnessing the Earth's natural heat in ways that engineers once thought impossible. Here's a fact that might make you chuckle. While some countries spent decades debating whether renewable energy could be reliable, Kenya quietly built a system that now provides nearly half of its electricity from renewable sources. The country's old Karia geothermal power plant, nestled in the Great Rift Valley, is the largest of its kind in Africa. Perhaps the most revolutionary aspect isn't the large-scale projects. It's the grassroots innovation happening in communities across the continent. In Rwanda, young entrepreneurs are developing portable solar systems that can power entire villages. What other innovations might we be missing by maintaining outdated perspectives about where technological advancement comes from? The impact extends far beyond just providing electricity. These renewable energy projects are creating new jobs, transforming education, and even improving healthcare delivery. In Tanzania, solar-powered refrigeration units are helping rural clinics store vaccines properly for the first time. It's quite ironic. Some of the world's most advanced energy solutions are emerging from places often labeled as developing. In Uganda, solar-powered internet hubs are connecting remote communities to educational resources and digital opportunities. But what does this tell us about our assumptions regarding development and innovation? Here's something that might surprise you. Africa's renewable energy sector is growing faster than anywhere else in the world. While other regions talk about future transitions to renewable energy, many African nations are leapfrogging directly from no electricity to 100% renewable sources. It's like skipping the dial-up internet era and going straight to fiber optics. The continent's renewable energy capacity grew by 14.1% in the past year alone, outpacing global growth rates. But this raises another crucial question. What can the rest of the world learn from Africa's bold approach to energy transformation? The innovation doesn't stop at generation. It extends to distribution and payment systems too. In Nigeria, Companies have developed pay-as-you-go solar systems that users can control with their phones. Think of it as Netflix for electricity, except instead of streaming movies, you're powering homes. These systems use artificial intelligence to optimize energy consumption and blockchain technology for secure payments. The system is so successful 
that it's being adapted for use in other developing regions. One company reports that their customers save an average of 40% on their energy costs compared to traditional power sources. But here's the million dollar question. Could this model work in developed countries too? Looking ahead, Africa's renewable energy revolution is just beginning. Plans are underway for the Desert to Power Initiative, which aims to make the Sahara the world's largest solar power plant. When completed, it could provide electricity for hundreds of millions of people across multiple continents. The project spans 11 countries and could generate up to 10 gigawatts of solar energy, enough to power the entire United Kingdom. But this ambitious project raises important questions. How will this massive undertaking reshape global energy politics? And more importantly, how might it change our understanding of Africa's role in the world? Let's address the elephant in the room. Challenges still exist. Grid infrastructure needs improvement. Initial investment costs can be high. And some projects face political hurdles. However, what's remarkable is how African innovators are turning these challenges into opportunities for further innovation. They're developing smart grids that can operate independently of traditional infrastructure and creating innovative financing models that make renewable energy accessible to everyone. They're creating entirely new approaches to energy generation and distribution that could benefit the entire world. The environmental impact of these initiatives is equally impressive. By embracing renewable energy on such a large scale, African nations are showing how economic development doesn't have to come at the expense of environmental protection. The continent's renewable energy projects could prevent over 200 million tons of carbon emissions annually by 2025. But beyond the numbers, these projects are proving that sustainable development isn't just possible. It's profitable. As we conclude this exploration of Africa's renewable energy revolution, consider this. While the rest of the world debates about making the transition to renewable energy, Africa is already showing us how it's done. The continent isn't just participating in the renewable energy revolution, it's leading it. And perhaps that's the most important lesson of all. Sometimes the best solutions come from unexpected places. The next time someone talks about Africa needing help with development, you might want to ask them, did you know that African renewable energy innovations are helping power communities worldwide? Because in this story of global energy transformation, Africa isn't following. It's blazing the trail for others to follow. And isn't it time we all paid attention to where the real innovation is happening?